Hello again, you're probably sick of me by now, but here's PowerPoint, and we're looking at the last option in the series, which is the View tab. Now again, as you know, I like to get straight into it. Let's make a start. So click New and select a template. Choose a template with text in it, so I'd recommend using that option there, because some templates don't have any text in them, and we need that as a demo version. Wait for it to open up, and now we're good to go. Now select View at the top, and we're going to start from left to right. You're currently looking at your normal tab. Now for our start, at the bottom here you've got a notes option. Left click that, it brings this little window open and this is where you can add additional notes to your slides. These will be your speaker notes or just stuff that you might want to prompt as you're going along. Once you type it in there, select notes, it minimizes it and then it takes it out of you. Click on again to bring it up. So really important you add speaker notes if you need to as you're going along with your slides, just for little prompts or information you need for that slide. Now outline view. This will show you everything in an outline text format. So if I click on it, there's all my slides. I've only got the 11 there. So if I go to slide 2 and left click, you can see it comes up officially on the right. And then I've got all my information that I can then add. For example, So then you add your information, you see it changes on the right in real time. So you can click through each slide you want. Also hold the left button, you can even drag slides into position. Drag that slide 2 down, put it right at the bottom, I've now put it to number 11. So bear that in mind as well. Also in this view you can add notes at the bottom as well. So next is slide sorter, it'll just show you all your slides, so then you can change them and organise them. Now again I might go, that one actually should be there. Or I might decide my M1 here might be in second spot. And that way you can move them about and sort them. If I actually click on one, if I double tap on one it brings them up as well into that view because I've already got outline view selected there. And that's your slider sorted. Next is notes page. So that brings up one slide. Now if you want to navigate the slides, use a little wheel on the mouse or scroll up and down and you can go through each slide. So there's my first slide and I can add my speaker notes underneath. Scroll down I can start adding notes here as well. So it just gives you that one view as you're building each slide and concentrating each slide as you're going along. A reading view brings you up as one big screen. Now the point of this is, bottom left hand corner gives you a number of slides you've got in your presentation. Bottom right hand corner we can then navigate through them by clicking the arrows. You can always left click on there as well on the actual slide and that will do the same thing. In the middle option you've got your menu, if I bring that up, little menu, and you can choose whether you want to zoom in, left clicking again. And remember I showed this in a previous video tutorial, left click and it zooms you in. Right click takes you back out again. Also you can go to normal view or slide sorter again. So jump to a slide and double tap it and it brings it back up again. So that's another great little option there if you want to use the reading view. So I'm going to select normal view and I'm going to come to master view. Now I'm going to open up a new project here. In fact I'm going to do a blank one. So I'm going to do control N and select view and we're going to go to the slide master option. Now you can create template slides specifically how you want them. So background, you might have objects in them, certain text. And once you create them, you can save them and access them through your templates. Hence slide master. Let me do a quick one. So when you click slide master, watch what happens. It brings up multiple slides. Let me scroll up. The reason is it just gives you template slides. Now if I come back out of there to give you an example, back to home, click new slide. This is the samples you get of slides that you can use as default. So it gives you varying ones from section headers to picture and caption and content with caption. So you can choose what you want to do with them. Now go back to view and select slide master again. This is what this is doing. This is just setting stuff up for you as a template first so you can change things. So click on the first one which is going to be your master layout. And now whatever we do with this slide will affect the others. Let me show you. So I might want to choose the theme first. I can browse themes or create your own themes, but I'm just going to use a template one. Everything's changed. Also, I might go, actually, I don't like the header, so I'm going to highlight that header. Now when we're in actually the master layer, we can move across your tab and settings. So I might go to home and decide, actually, I don't want Arial. I want Berlin. And when I change it, it changes it everywhere. And again, Arial. And that will change it through each slide. Same goes for your subheadings here, so if I highlight them, again I can change them there, the fonts. Again I might go to Berlin, 
or I might scroll down and just choose for example century and it will change it in each slide. Now I might not be happy with that background, not a problem. Select slide master to the left and we can choose colours. So we start playing around with those colour options as well and you can see how it all changes. So what you do is you're creating templates through here. And again you can do background style specifically if you want to change it, it's not too bad is it? Now there's other things you can do here is you build your template. See I'm still with slide master, I'm going to go to insert and I might want to insert a shape. So I'm going to add a rectangle. Now I'm going to hold the left button and create my rectangle. And you see how it's created it. Now if I hold the left button I'm going to move it around within that. So that way I can plan my whole templates how I want them. And again I can hold the left button if I minimise that you see how it minimises in each slide. So have a little play around with that. Now I've done that, now I'm going to exit out of slideshow. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to one slide now because I've got the templates for the rest. If I click new slide, you can see it's now in my settings. Look, my themes. Because that's how I set it up. So I'll have the fonts, the background colours and themes and everything. Really cool option when you're building ideas. Now you might want to save that. So click design. Click the drop down arrow. And then you can save current theme and then give that theme a name and click save. You've now got your theme saved so every time you go to home, new slide, you can access it through here. So go back to view, we've got handout master so I'm going to open another demo one so click file, new, business, I'm going to choose any template again. Now go back to view and we're looking at the second option which is handout master so when I click it brings this window open. Now when you ex when you create slides you can export them as a handout so that way you can hand them out to the people you're doing a presentation to or just might want to print them out in a Word document or a different format. Now we can change that a handout look. I'll show you in a minute how to do the handouts to actually export them. But it takes us into this window because you've got to decide how you want your handouts to look. So handout orientation you might want landscape depending on what you're doing. Or again on the A4 paper you might want the portrait. You can change the slide size if you want to 4.3 and this will tell you to ensure to fit all so it makes sure it fits everything in so you can choose that. Slides per page so you might decide actually I only want two slides per page there's too much information going on depending on your image and your visual images or graphs and so on or you might want four. I can choose a header at the top or maybe I don't want a header again you might not want a footer and that goes for date top right and page number bottom right. Don't worry about it comes up with that hashtag because when you've actually created slides and export it will number them for you, not to worry. You might even want a bit of a different colour in there, depending on what you've got on your slides. So again you can change colours, fonts and effects and background styles. So let's do a, more of a blue. So when that exports your handouts you'll get more of that format. So what I'm going to do is come back out of there, I'm going to click close. I'm going to export that as a handout, top left hand corner, come down to export and I want you to select create handouts. Select create handouts. Now it's going to give you another format here and click OK. Go back to view. That takes us to Note Master. So let's have a quick Notes Master. Now you can choose how you want it to look when you actually print them out. So you can print out the slides and the text underneath as well. So you can choose how you want them printed out. You can also print out your slides with your notes as well. So that way you can change how you want that to look. You've got the same options as you did before including changing the background colour to add in subtle effects and choose your slide sizes as well. Click close and click view. So there's your presentation view and your master views. So that's how you're looking at it there on screen with presentation views and master views is how you can edit those options and change your format and templates. Next is a ruler gives you a ruler line around your slide so you can measure it exactly how you want it. Grid lines as well so you can position stuff exactly where you want and guides so you hold the left button you can drag those guides so for example if I go to insert and we'll insert a shape you can position to that edge exactly how you want them so everything then lines up. Click view. So I'm going to untick those options anyway. Notes is your speaker notes. Click on it, it comes down the bottom again, and then you can add your specific speaker notes there if you want. I showed you that at the beginning. But also, click back on notes if you select fit to window, if you select zoom, 
again you can zoom into what you want so let's go in 200% click OK if you're working on something specifically and then click fit to window to bring it back out quickly currently it's in colour but you might decide you want grey scale or you might black and white so when you click into this options you can see at the top left hand corner gives me a tab so I can change exactly how I want that grey scale so I might want a bit lighter or I want to maybe inverse that or maybe black with white fill or again you can just have white or black it's only up to you whatever you click on you can then change or don't show the text again choice is yours so that brings us this option a new window this brings up a new window so you can work in multiple places let me show you click new window hold the left button and it's just opened up another option it just opened another window for you that you can work off so I could lock that in couldn't I click on that and then I could work off that as well so it does give me multiple windows going to maximize that and click view or you might want to arrange all so that way it ranges all your windows you've got open so you can access them that way as well so you can see all of them you might be working on multiple slides or presentations cascade those windows so you can see them all cascaded now one behind the other the split option just splits the different panes of the windows so if I click on it and use the cursor keys up and down see how it splits it and we'll come back down now we've got switch window select that and we can switch which window we want to go to so I've got different presentations open so I'm going to go to that one there and close it I'm going to switch to number one and that way you can jump from one slide presentations to another quickly and don't save now you want to get into the macros option one thing you need to know when I hover over it and select underneath and as you see here on the right it tells you that you can't use the macro recorder within PowerPoint but you can still use visual basics for applications VBA if you want to as well to create or edit macros so I'll select run a macro click on the option here and follow what it says and there you go there's some basics to get you up and running on PowerPoint thanks for watching